So most of you, if not all of you, have gone to school sometime, and a lot of you guys might know something called a school bus. And many of you guys also go there every single day in the morning, until unless you're homeschooled. Let me tell you something. My bus is the most annoying bus ever. First of all, my bus has a lot of kids in primary school, and each day they are screaming their heads off. Me and my friend are like the big boys in the bus. There are only people who are in twelfth and eleventh who are bigger than us. And if you don't know, all the cool kids sit at the back of the bus. But most of the time, the eleventh and twelfth graders sit at the back of the bus. But a lot of times, the eleventh and twelfth graders have a half day because of their exams. So everyone, even the third and fourth graders, run as fast as they can to get to the last seat. Even though the primary grades aren't allowed to sit at the back. Sometimes I literally run faster than a person getting chased by a bee to get to the last seats, but a lot of times these small kids used to come before me in the bus because the small kids have less work to do, so their teachers leave them early, and they would come sit right in the middle. They would not even budge a little bit so I can take the center seat. If you don't know, the center seat is the coolest of the coolest seats. One of my friend, who is also in fourth grade, used to come a lot earlier than me on the bus. So he and I made an agreement that he would come early and save the center seat, and I will allow him to sit back. And of course, I couldn't let that deal go away from me. And without even waiting a second, I said yes. So you guys might think that that's all that happens with me, but you're wrong. There's one such an annoying kid in my bus. He literally fights with everyone every day. He even fights with the people who are eight years older than him. He also fights with me and my friends every day, and that's super annoying. If you don't know, some people on my bus also bring an iPad, and my best friend is one of them. So we play games all the way to our house. But the only game we can play is the no internet dinosaur game. Because there is no Wi-Fi in the bus, but that kid snitches on us every single day, so we can't even play one game. When the majority of people in your bus are little kids, you can't even think how much trouble it is to study in the bus. Many times I think that I will revise for the exam in the bus, but when I enter the bus, I know that I would never be able to. So now I don't even bother to revise for test on the bus. My bus also jumps more than ten feet in the air when we hit a speed breaker, and the backer you sit, the higher you are launched up in the air. Some of you guys might think that's cool, but when your head hits the top rod of the bus, then you would realize how bad it is. At the end, I just want to say that if you get an option to either use the bus or not, choose not. Until the bus driver gives you free stuff, then you can use the bus. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if any of the kids that I talked about in this video are watching this, bye.